Hello everyone and welcome back in the next episode of the Outer Worlds. Last time we found our little boy in this outpost. And today we're gonna start with Leto. Anything I can do to help yeah, you? Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them and... Now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse, outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. Oh! I'm already taking care, taking care of it. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no. It ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. Okay. And I've done everything. <laughs> Let's go for our next quest. Okay. What do we have on the plate? No, what's that? Carol or Charlotte. We go there soon. But first. Let's go to the left. To the left. And look for track for this guy. Nothing here. Reload. South here. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent track ahead of us. North, south here. Watch. Oh. His pools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. Where are you? Don't mess with us. Don't mess with us. Oh. Okay. Bye bye. Where do we go? We're quite shitty look up. Where, where? I'm not you. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That's the last of him. Bye bye. Nothing. No, something. There's the look up. Out. Oh, here you are. Okay. Smaller spaceship. And where do we go? Down the slope, I think. Wait. Yes. Tell me. Wait. Uh. Okay. This one? No, not that one. But maybe. Ooh. That's how it's done, Captain. Okay. Oh, the queen will have will be very tough to beat. Let's go and explore some cover. Hmm. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, make it up soon. And one, two. Hmm. <laughs> You yeah, have a lot of stuff. Where do you are? That's my carabine. Oh, some unlucky bastards were here. Okay, where do we go now? 
Oh, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, locked container. Okay. We are God knows where, where and we have a locked container. Shocking. Do we have anything here? Anything at all? Some sort of cave system or anything? Of course not. Why would we? Ah, damn it. Okay. Let's go. Look for something and... Uh, flower? Oh, okay. Ask for... Whoa! Manti Queen! Someone else will clean this up, right? Okay. Ho ho! Mr. Pickett's journal? Okay. How do I... How do I read this? Inspect. Okay, escape. Nothing I can do. Whoa, how you jump? Okay. I don't think you died peacefully, but who am I to judge people and how they die? Oh, another lock container. Shocking. Where, where, where is that Manti Queen body? Where, where did it fly off to? Uh, blast! Ow, oh, my ankles! Ouch! <laughs> Where do we go? Messy guard! Leonora Tele, okay. Tele. Hello! Oh, hey there! Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. You wanna buy something? Sure. Let's buy some ammunition. This is Shock Cannon Ultra. Mm -hmm, 1992. Ah, nothing really interesting. Okay. Bye. Okay, let's go inside here. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there, if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. <laughs> okay. Transition to Fallbrook. Hello. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Hmm. Lila sent me here. Where's Catherine? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Hmm. Brief is okay. Just point me to our Miss Malin. She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat... I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Sublight territory. Fun. Feels like being home. Fallbrook's great. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. Oh, Nelson Mason. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. He means gullible, Captain. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. 
Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Lilia's Lilia sent me to deal with sublight problem. I, I, why, well, I, well, I certainly hope you're not insinuating the problem is me. I mean, that would be preposterous. I never do anything under the table that uh, Miss Malin ain't aware of. If there's any issue, really, you should talk to her. <laughs> She's straight back in Malin's house of hospitality. Oh, what's that favor you wanted? Oh, right. Well, I mean, if you're interested. Ooh. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Ah. Uh. Let me guess, we pocket the health you save. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Hmm. Oh. I'll be happy to help. Was that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you've got to show it somehow, like with a wink. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Okay. That's one down. You'll not. No. Sublight tag. Ball broke. Hood. Oh, vending machine, okay. Have something in here? Nope. Nothing out of ordinary. But you can give me light ammo. I will buy everything. Mm -hmm. I sell? Can I sell? Yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. And hmm, yes. Okay, 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 and still all this junk. Okay, let's go and what? I can take a hint. Okay. Let's run. Like it. Their mistake. Oh, I should have talked with you. Okay. I hope the rest did not hear me. Pa 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 pa. You don't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Arthur today? Oh, damn it. Okay. I don't think he got crushed during the bridge collapse. Is his team running that drop? Sure puts things into perspective. Where do I go? You there. But first, if I'm here. Hmm. No. No. It cut me. Marlin House of Hospitality. Hello. And I need you. Uh huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? 
Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. I'll bet she's a hoot at parties. <laughs> Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Nice to meet you, I'm Greg G. Huh. And charm, if by man nugget the paradise you mean piece of Monty Dunk, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, <laughs> I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Hmm. I'm actually I'm the fixer for your stoplight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Cut the, to the trace, Merlin. All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. What the heck is Alta White Gas? Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Oh. I can get it done. I do like your gumption. But let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Our subbons, Ellie could probably cook something up. I'm a doctor, not a vet. But what's the worst that could happen? I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Hmm. Good thing. You think we have an engineer Parvati will handle that? Candy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Ooh, I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. Hmm. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Oh, huh. I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Hmm. Easy as eating a crispy pig pie. Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Hmm. Any tips how am I get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. 
Might be another way in. Assuming you're courageous enough to track the sewers. Void if I know. Hmm. They're just killed life. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means. Just the end. Perfect. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. <laughs> May luck be with you, since I won't be. Sweet, yours. Oh, sweetie. Okay, do we have some... Oh... F. Okay. Wait, sir, she's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. I'd have a drink with her, though I'd keep one hand on my gun and the other on my bit cartridge. <laughs> true. So true. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm hmm. Oh, ending mission. Always imagine cleaner, fancier. Okay. To win swimming at a place like this, got eaten from the inside out by parasitic amoebas. Ooh, storage key. Hello, little ladies. Oh my god! Retrieve the drugs from the threat carrier. Oh. You, you have, uh, have the drug. Okay, but first let's grab some goods. Okay, Brad. Hello. <laughs> Brad. How much more? Where are the rest of the rats? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have all the drug I need. Yes. Map. Okay. Oh, I think I could go this way. Yes. Oh, here you are. It's funny. Mind your own business, friend. Oh, I think I need. Damn it. I need. Vicar Max for this one. Hello. Can I help you? Don't think we've spoken before. I would remember. You look, um, well, I wouldn't forget what you're wearing, no. Oh, they have spoken before. Most of the freshies spend their first night in the saloon. Fresh to Fallbrook, I mean. Me? I've been here going on three days now. I'm real friendly. I figure I've talked up everyone in town by now, but not you yet. <laughs> seems, it seems it's your lucky day. Every day I've been here has been my lucky day. Never won so much in my whole life. Aside from a close call during my wilderness hike, it's been a grand adventure. I'm dreadful blessed that Captain Cryley hired me onto the crew. Which crew? Ah, you wouldn't have heard of them. They're just a small pot of smugglers. Kept getting their spoils stolen when they went to fence them. So they hired on a merc. 
They didn't mind my being so talkative or them being my first protection gig. Captain Cryley, he does ask me to shut it sometimes. In fact, I probably shouldn't be flapping my gums about his crew at all. Hmm. Um, I'm looking for Devil Speak. Look for the horns and you can't miss it. Even I saw them when we flew overhead. Horns? Massive curved stone peaks if you want to get technical. They're part of the mountain terrain. Okay. How do we end up in Flower well, Fallbrook? Captain Crowley wanted to take a pit stop. I'm the hired security, see? They pay me to guard the cargo, but right now the hull's empty. It's my first shore leave with the crew and my maiden voyage before that. I can tell you it's been a real hoot. Any survival tips? Captain warned us to take care around Devil's Peak. The bigger beasties tend to roam the slopes there. Mid-morning, I thought I'd try Fallbrook's self-guided wilderness hike. The one that leads up around the mountain. Safe enough, else they wouldn't advertise, right? Wrong. Scarcely made it back in one piece. Sounds like you had a close call. You can say that again. Wilderness almost got me pushing up daisies. If I wasn't so fleet-footed, I never would have escaped them raptodons, then marauders, and that manta queen alive. To outrun him, I had to ditch my bag. All the bit cards from my winnings were weighing it down. A shame, because it was my favorite gun tote. That's all for now. Right then. Very well. Live. Bye-bye. This just... I need to go under. Oh, ho, ho, I knew it. Ah. What a plasma launcher. How do you look? Three one seven. I could better. Oh. Let me out. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Okay, some workbench. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, and here. Twenty-four. Mm, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I need bigger max on me for this one. Why can I? Why couldn't land here? Bring me first. Okay. 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 Nothing interesting. Insert holder. Oh. Hello. I've got a. Gonna live early. I will take Vicar. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, yeah. Made it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. 
You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. What's going on here? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. That sounds like a good idea, Prestige. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you! It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Hmm. Max, stop. Forget it. This wretch will say anything to save his worthless life. Wait, stop. Please, just listen to me. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Hmm. Good, now that's out of the way. Why don't you put his... He's full out of his misery, Max. What? No! That's Don't the last of them. Okay. And we can go to the Hermit on Stilla, but where was the Hermit? So many questions. Yeah. Whatever. But we'll be asking, answering them in another episode. But for now, oh wait, let's talk with Vicar Max. I want to thank you for not interfering back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Cut the crap, Max. You right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Hmm. Oh, okay, but I'm watching you. Thank you. I promise. I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. What was it like being in prison? Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Let's move on. And now with this, we can end today's episode. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.